on everybody to support a slab train and welcome back today guys drift streets japan here once again on this weekend hopefully you guys are having a great weekend i'm probably sipping on some beers right this second and also i should be actually moving in to my brand new house today man tonight actually so keep a lock on twitter i'll be showing you guys some photos and such like that but that's not what we're talking about today man today we are here back with some more mods and i figured I would treat you guys to some D1 GP action, man. I know what I'm thinking right now. Stop. What the hell are you talking about, man? Well, check this shit out, man. I found this thing on the page. Looks sick, man. We got stickers all on the back window. Phillips. I don't know why Phillips, but we got Sparko. We have Flowtech. Um, it's been pretty damn sick right here. And we got the big old damn Toyo tires. Mod looks pretty damn sick, man. It looks like an 8.6. Uh, we got a nice modified hood with some hood pins on there. We got a front tow hook. We got some damn drift zip ties on it. I like it, man. And looks like even maybe a damn turbo intercooler right there. Look at that shit, man. Just sucking in air right there. I like that. Okay. Rim's looking tight. I'm going to buy this. 35 grand on here. And let's see what we are given for a motor. I forgot to check. RB26. Okay, I'll take it. But... I forgot, man. We're going to drive this thing stock, as always. 228 horsepower on this thing. I think I'm going to change up... Ooh, hell yeah. I think I'm going to change up the paint just a little bit. Uh, not too much. Can't do any body mods. I haven't really found a mod that allows us to do very much. So, hopefully, maybe later we start seeing some more mods that come in that, you know, maybe have a little bit more to it other than just the mod. But, I mean, it's still early, man. It's still early. We can't be damn complaining right now. Uh, offset is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead. You got to understand, I haven't been able to tune like this since ever, man. Forza's never really let us do this. So when we get a chance to stance out a damn car like this, sign my ass up, man. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, body? Nothing. Rims? We can do something, though. Those blue rims. Oh, shit, that's nice. Okay, let's see what else we got. Maybe some red. Go with the seats. Keep clicking. Ooh. Ooh, that purple, though. That purple is mine right there, man. I, I, I think it looks sick. Toge Drift is damn full? No, no, no. Come on now. Ooh, Drift Track 1. Somebody got the idea, man. Kato's opening up the new lobby. Thank you so much. Full throttle right now. Pretty beastly, right? I mean, oh, my goodness. As you guys did know, uh, I have changed the rims as well, too. I was just feeling that damn Christmas style right there as I was waiting. Red and green? I know Christmas isn't for a little bit, but gave me the damn Christmas spirit, man. That's all. We're definitely going to need some horsepower on this thing. But I do think, though, that this would actually do very nicely down the toge. I mean, it's very smooth. Third gear is solid, and it just grips right back up. I'm not scared of it, you know, snapping back on me. It's a very nice, smooth build here. Just a tap! We're good, we're good. No, nope, screw this right up. Okay. Is it ready yet? Come on now. Is it ready? Oh, we got that 14 people. Excuse me, man. I had to push my microphone out the way to get there. Jesus, here we go. Okay, we're back. Now remember, this is a stock build still. Ooh, and we are just whipping her right now. I do like it. Just a little bit on the brake. Guy was spinning out up there. I've seen that shit. This is perfect damn amount of track for this car to get down right now. They drop that to second. Biggest thing is don't let that rear end get out, man. Once that rear end is gone, there's no saving it. Right there, it almost happened. We're at 70 large, man. I'm not losing this. Let's go! Little tandems, man. Little tandems. I'm in your car. Hopefully that's okay with you. That's how I tandem, man. I get right inside you. Oh, my God. That's terrible. That's terrible. No. We have no other view as well. That sucks. Unless those buttons ended up not getting remapped as well. I don't know. Let's get it. Oh, we got that damn high speed on that third gear. This car is so nice, though, man. I've actually really enjoyed... Oh, that guy just almost flipped. I've seen that shit. Hope he's all right. 
And I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to feel with some horsepower in it. And we just lost that, so we're going to go ahead, actually. Uh, I'm thoroughly impressed already with this car. So there's no need to drive this thing anymore, but I would like to go ahead and give it some power. Specifically, that turbo, man. 408 on the turbo right now. We're going to bring it up. Uh, let's do the block. 448 horsepower suffice. Look at this, man. RB26. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, run number two. I'm not going to change anything. Oh, my shit. It's now it's full again. I'm pissed. Please, can I have my spot back? Thank you. Oh, my God. It actually worked. They listened, man. Thank you. Run number two with this baby. We do have another D1 GP vehicle to try out for today as well. Appreciate that. The guys damn took me out. I don't know if you've seen that or not. Their leg hit me. We can hear that booze building. Come on. It's a matter of not committing enough where you can't pull it back. That's really the biggest thing. Hit a little bit of spray. Where's my spray? The, oh my god, my spray button's not mapped either. I'm so pissed. I don't know why it does that. Never really had an issue before where my buttons get unmapped. But hey, shit happens, right? I mean, Oh, all right, I'm running suicides on anybody that's coming back, man. We have uh, we have Holy Sloth in the comments up there. He goes, what is the biggest drift you've ever lost? Um, I don't even know. I think maybe like 300 grand or some shit. Look at the damn suicides going up. I'm down for anybody else that wants it, man. Suicides are here. Oh, I didn't want to tap that wall. That was, that was really damn close. Oh, we missed him as well. Ooh, we would have died right there, though. <laughs> There's no damn saving that one. That would have been head on. Got a few more cars coming down. Oh my god, we just wall tapped that man with our door. You seen that shit? And we are back up at the start, man. Simple as that. That actually was really damn quick. I didn't expect it to be that fast coming back on that uphill. I guess I didn't go that damn far. Man. Oh, yeah, there he is, man. He's slow ass. Let's go. All right, one run down the hill to decide how many points we are going to keep. That guy just disappeared. I don't know where he went. The Drift Street gods took him, man. What happened to him? Let's go, baby. Yes. That handbrake now actually really does do a good job at holding your position on those rear tires to just lock them up enough to continue it and hold out that corner. Done a really good job on this one. Oh my God. I don't think I've drifted this smooth in so long on this game. Don't you dare walk up that. Thank you. Look at this. Now I'm just damn screwed around here. Here, 208 grand though. And we're still going actually. Nope. I, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to call that damn. That's it. 220 grand on this run. This thing is beautiful though, man. Absolutely loving this mod. Love the drift stickers all over. We got a beastly D1 GP Supra with uh, kind of an ugly ass body kit on here right now. But once we stance this out, this should look a hell of a lot better. 35 grand. Nice. So first things first, we need new rims on this Supra. Now, to be honest, uh, I think I'm gonna go with the plain Janes right there, man. We always go with them, I know, I know. But we gotta make this thing look good though because I'm not feeling these wheels and the body kit combination on here. So we're gonna go ahead, give it some crazy offset. 26 and 32. Now, what we're going to do to make this just even nicer, man, we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of rear and front camber, tuck those front and rear tires, and look at her now, man. She actually looks pretty solid, and stance is everything, man. I cannot stress that enough. That's why I've been saying Forza needs stance cars in their game. If there was stance vehicles in the game, it would be so damn nice. The photos would come out absolutely ridiculous. And I mean, it would just give the game so much more to work with and do. I mean, the cars don't have to be functional. Obviously, Forza wants them to be functional, but 
I would say though, um, I would really love an option, maybe for Forza 7, where we're able to just go in and just tweak suspension. And really just have some fun with it, man, because I mean, that shit would be absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and run this first one. Look at that wing, though, man. That wing is absolutely huge. Here we go. Just let it slide out. Maybe passing this man, yep. Getting the damn tan. The battles looks like this man just slammed the wall. Here we go. We got her, looks like. Drop it down in gear. And just make this corner enough. That guy's not going to make that shit, man. He came in flying. Yep. Second gear is just enough torque in that power band to get us through. Oh, shit. I'm getting bullied out of here. All right, here we go. Definitely cannot wait to throw some horsepower at this and really get this rear end out. Match this aggressive spoiler with some aggressive power, that's all. Yep. Here we go. Let's do it. I was gonna say, let's go for a whip transition. It did it for me, but I wasn't ready for it, man. I need some more power. ECU upgrade. Nitrous upgrade, which doesn't even matter considering my button is not mapped right now And I don't really feel like logging out and changing it and then coming back in in retrospect You know, it's not that hard, but I just I just don't feel like doing it right now, man All right, that's all I'm saying uh, that should be good and we're gonna go ahead and leave it exactly like that um, I'm proud of this Superman. I am I mean we took it started from the ground up and I mean look at this right now yeah. Here we go. Now, I will say though. This is one of my last wheel cam videos that I'm recording myself not on the channel but uh, just because of the fact that I do have videos pre-recorded but this is my last pre-recorded video with this current setup so when you guys see the wheel cam next for a live video um, it will be brand new man I'm gonna have a brand new room that I'm gonna be working with oh tell me you've seen that damn wheel log come in yep just just hold her no too much. I've been thinking a lot of you know what I want to do with the setup. If I want to do a massive green screen so I can kind of just filter out all the background, uh, which I think I'm going to end up doing. It's just a matter of how I want to do it and all that stuff. But if you guys want to leave me some comments down below for anything that you'd like to see in the setup room, let me know down below because I'm always interested in this. You know what you guys have to say, obviously. So, uh, you know, I think I'm going to have some really nice shadow boxes in there with some things from around the world that I've been to. Uh, so I'm really excited. Oh, jeez, man. What the hell was this? Okay. You know, my trip to Essen, I have a lot of things. My trip to damn London, I got a lot of things as well, too. Just everywhere that I've been, I have a lot of things. So I think I'm going to put a lot of that stuff in that studio room. Very nice kind of shadow box setup. Um, and I have some really nice glass cabinets with some really cool die cast vehicles as well so it's it's gonna be big man i'm really excited about it hopefully you guys are as well too and i cannot wait to document it and you know show you guys in videos and all that stuff as well so we will be probably doing a really nice kind of setup video and just explaining everything but it's going to be absolutely nuts man i'm gonna have two stationary rigs i thought i was going to be able to drive that entire thing on the outside and then come back in make it look good but no man it's not happening at all but i will have two stationary rigs that will not be moving so I'm gonna have, oh, damn, I thought it was just gonna be a little tap, and then what? Holy shit! Who knew? All that was gonna just fly me off. I'm gonna have one for my Xbox One and my PC setup, which is this wheel right here. And then I'm also gonna have a PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 wheel setup, where I'm gonna be playing Gran Turismo and all of that stuff. So I'm very excited to be having that PlayStation wheel always set up all the time. Same with this one, because, you know, it's a pain in the ass having to take everything down and up all the time. And I'm just really excited that, you know, the studio room is coming together now. And, you know, I'm not just working out of my own room where I'm sleeping, where I'm eating. And it's just going to give me a lot more productivity as well, too. So it's just there's big things coming to the channel. I'm glad you guys are a part of this. And don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new because there's going to be big shit going down. And I'm really excited to just elevate my YouTube game and bring you guys some seriously quality content, you know, not with the AC in the background making noise, uh, you know, just 
professional shit is what I'm getting at, man. I really want to upgrade everything, get some new cameras, and uh, just have some better mounting places for it as well, too. But I am thinking about potentially going back to a static camera mount, not the actual GoPro on the chest. So I don't know what you guys think about that. We just wall tapped that and did not lose our points. But tell me in the comments down below, do you want to see... Oh, shit! Love it. Do you guys want to see uh, the actual GoPro strapped on the chest, or would you like to see it go back to a regular stationary tripod now, where you guys will see you know, the full thing all the time, won't be shaky? Uh, you know, just let me know about that down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm just excited. Like I said, I'm gonna have a full-on lighting setup as well. So, like I said, man, professional shit going down. Make sure you guys stay locked on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Drift Street Japan once again here for today. Two fantastic D1 GP mods here for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will say both cars handled fantastic and definitely recommend both of those mods. They can be found on the mod page if you guys were curious. Right as soon as you open up the game, it'll say mod in the top left corner and then that's where you pull all the mods from. I'm going to go ahead and do another damn suicide up here considering I am all over the road. I don't know why, but I love suicides. Obviously, we can't hit them, but it's just cool just to kind of test your skills, if you will, and try to dodge people. Oh my god, I can't dodge those, though. Those are my biggest problem. Son of a bitch! Those little damn poles. Worse than Forza Horizon bushes. Alright. Oh, there's one right there, man. Trippy out. Obviously, we can't dodge that, but when you are on transition, though, I would say going suicide really does allow you to become better as a drifter because you're doing things that are unpredictable, and that's where you really test your skills, is being put in those situations where you cannot see ahead, right? I mean, that's just what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys are still here, don't forget to slap that like button. Definitely do appreciate that. Show your support in the comment section down below, and make sure you guys stay locked on the channel. August 8th, we are returning back with our brand new setup. It's going to be big, man. It's going to be real big. Mark your calendars. It's your slide train. You guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. I'm out. Peace. Welcome back guys, 